DC supervillains, an origin story, Harley Quinn. Written by Lauren S. Sutton. Today is Dr. Harleen Quinzel's first day of work at Arkham Asylum. This place is a special prison for supervillains. Her job is to help the prisoners with their mental health. Dr. Quinzel walks down the Hall of Cells. The Riddler, the Penguin, Poison Ivy, each one has a story about what made them into super villains. She thinks, I want to learn all about them. Dr. Quinzel stops in front of a cell. But mostly, I want to know more about the Joker, she thinks. She rubs her chin. There has to be a reason why he uses dangerous gags to commit crimes. He has a clown face, but he is a serious villain. Dr. Quinzel talks to the Joker during therapy sessions. He tells her about his life growing up. It's a sad story. She feels sorry for him. What she doesn't know is that the Joker is lying. It's all a joke to him, but Dr. Quinzel took it very serious. The Joker's just misunderstood, she thinks. Batman is the real bad guy. Her feelings of sympathy turn into a crazy kind of love. Then one day, the Joker escapes. He battles Batman in Gotham City. Dr. Quinzel reads all about it in the newspapers. She laughs at the Joker's tricks. It sounds like he's having a hoot, she thinks. But soon Batman brings the Joker back to Arkham. Dr. Quinzel is furious that the Dark Knight has caught her secret sweetheart. My poor angel, she thinks. That grouch Batman ruined all of his fun. Dr. Quinzel knows what she has to do. That night, she robs a novelty store. She snatches a clown-like Harley Quinn costume. She grabs some toys and gimmicks. Dr. Quinzel puts on the black and red costume. She sneaks back into Arkham Asylum. She sticks explosives into a joke alarm clock. She blows up the Joker's cell. Knock, knock, puddin', she tells the Joker. You're a free clown now. On that night, Harleen Quinzel became Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn is the opposite of Dr. Harleen Quinzel. The doctor was serious, but the supervillain is wild. Harley uses gags like a giant circus mallet and stink bombs. But they're no joke. They pack a real punch. Harley also has amazing gymnastic skills. She can flip and jump like a circus acrobat. After busting the Joker out of Arkham, Harley Quinn sticks with her sweetie. She becomes his sidekick. She calls him Pudding and Mr. J. On her first day of crime with the Joker, Harley helps him try to grab Police Commissioner Gordon at an awards ceremony. Batman spoils the plot, but the villains escape to their hideout. Another time, the Joker and Harley set a trap for Commissioner Gordon at his dentist's office. Hey, Comish, Harley says. You can have a smile just like Mr. J. All you need is some great dental care. Just in time, Batman crashes through the window. He rescues his friend from the criminal clowns. The crooks escape again. Except this time, the Joker is mad. I don't know how you messed up my perfect plan, the Joker yells at Harley. I'm sorry, Mr. J, Harley replies. I don't know how I messed up either. The Joker blames Harley for the failed plots. He's so mad that he kicks her out of their hideout. I'll show him, Harley says. I'll do a big robbery on my own. Then I'll be the one who's laughing. Ha! Harley decides to steal a rare diamond from a museum. 
she uses her gymnastic skills to leap around the security lasers. She gets by without setting off any alarms. Suddenly, the alarms go off, but Harley isn't the one who did it. Poison Ivy runs by. She's robbing the place too. She's stealing plant toxins from the museum's lab. Hey, plant controlling lady, Harley shouts. The idea is not to set off the alarms. But the alarms keep ringing. Squads of police arrive. Harley and Ivy run for the exit, together, but the police chase them. Then Harley has a crazy idea. She grabs a bottle of plant toxins from Ivy. Harley yells as she throws the bottle. The bottle breaks. A cloud of green gas leaks out. Harley and Ivy run past the coughing police officers. They dash out of the museum and jump into Poison Ivy's getaway car. They spit down the street. Poison Ivy says. Harley and Ivy team up again after that. They rob a club for men only. No women allowed. The men were in shock when the female felons burst into their meeting. What is the meaning of this? One man yells. Harley and Ivy don't listen to the grumbling. Instead, Harley drops two large sea plods. Poison Ivy uses her powers. Huge vines burst from the pods. The plants wrap around the men. That will keep you busy while we rob your trophy room, Poison Ivy says. Harley laughs. <laughs> this is fun. I'm sure glad I met you, Ivy. Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy keep up their crooked fun. They go on to steal a priceless plant. They rob the jewelry store. Soon, the newspapers call them the new queens of crime. Harley Quinn spreads her own kind of chaos all over Gotham City. She stops being the Joker's sidekick. She becomes a supervillain in her own right. Harley earns the name Clown Princess of Crime. Everyone says that Harley has a crazy sense of humor. We all know she's just trying to have a little fun and a good laugh. Harley Quinn has a crazy sense of humor. She uses a huge circus mallet, laughing gas, and other gags to carry out her crimes. Harley acts like a clown, but she's a serious supervillain. She just wants to have a little fun and have a good laugh when the joke's on Batman. Wow, that was interesting. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next story.